welcome, welcome to Papa Stash Pop. So today we are not messing around. We're gonna do easy parts, complicated rhythms, and a freaking solo because we can. <laughs> Click that link down below. That'll help you with soloing. That's like an introduction to blues soloing over a one, four, five. That's you go to a blues bar, you're gonna hear that like 987 times in one night, but you'll least at least I should say know how to play over it if you click on that link below that video is not on YouTube so check it out now this song we're gonna go easy you know so everyone can strum and play along then we're gonna break down the actual you know the the session guy parts and then we're gonna do the solo so let's zoom in for a closer look all right so let's break this down we're gonna do the simple intro part first right and it's very similar to the verse part chord wise but in the verse we're going to do a little bit trickier rhythm we're going to you know we're going to work on our rhythm chops so you and us both <laughs> so we're going to do g d a for two it's going to go something like this Okay, so I'm just going. All right, that would be E, D, G chord. Same thing with a D, D, G, D. And then, same thing on the A, so that'd be A, D chord. Okay, and then I'm gonna add that at the end, so we got. do the revolution again. Okay, now the little riff that goes behind that is a little octave riff. And there's, I think there's an octave pedal on it. So it's gonna start off sliding from two to four on the D and then it's gonna go to the G string second fret. Okay, so we got. Now we're gonna slide in and do that again. Now we're gonna add a hammer on from two to four. So we got. Now you can go slide two, four, two, like that, or a hammer on and you know hit the two again. So we got. Shake it like you mean it. <laughs> and then. Now we're going to go A string, 5, 4, E string, 7, 5. All right, so. going to get us into the rhythm. Now the rhythm verse part is going to be the same thing as the intro for the first half. So we're going to literally do G, D, A, just like we did in the beginning. The second half of the verse is pretty much the same chords, but we're going to add a B minor to it. So it's going to go. Okay, so all we've done is instead of holding the A for two counts, we're now dividing it up between a B minor and an A. So we got. Okay, now there's a really cool other guitar part. There's actually two or three guitars. There's like an acoustic that's buried in there, and then there's two guitars kind of doing an interplay with each other. I'm going to kind of combine those two parts, and it's a little bit tricky. The timing's kind of interesting. So let me play it for you. Okay. 
Okay, so what I did was, you're basically playing different inversions of each of those chords. So we're going to start off with the G chord. And then you're going to catch this back of this D chord right here, which is going to be the 7th fret D and G on an upstroke. So we got... So we got... Then you're gonna go one, two, three, four. Alright? So we got. So I go one, two, three, four. And then I hit the A inversion up here, which is just gonna be the ninth fret G and the tenth fret B. Now I'm gonna do four again, but I'm gonna go one, two, slide, hit. Okay, so that's mute, mute, sliding in. Hit. So all together. Okay, now the next time through, I'm going to start off the same way. Then I'm just going to go one, two. Now what I did there is I kept that A shape and then I just came up to the 9th fret, or the 11th fret rather, G string. And I did a hammer on from 9 to 11 on the G, kept the B10 ringing, and then went back to 9 and 10. So, okay, so it's... Now comes the second half of the rhythm. I'm gonna go to the G, but I'm gonna do this inversion. So that's uh, B3, G4, D5. You want those to ring out. And then you're going to take this down one fret and you're going to flip flop these two fingers so you go back to a D shape. And I'm going to let that D slide a whole step up to four and five and then back to two and three. So we got. Okay, and then from that point, I'm going to go B, B minor, A, G, D. Now I'm going to go up to the B minor up here on 7 and 9. So I went B, B, and then I did a hammer on and pull off. Uh, I went 7 and 7 on the... D and G, and then I went to nine on the D. And then I come and I hit the A three times. Okay, so that last part is. going to get you into the course. All right, so let's break down the course. Now, the course is very similar to the verse with the exception of one part. We got a little reversal of some chords. So what we're going to do, G, D, B minor, A. the same thing but we're going to reverse the A and the B minor so we're going to go G, D, A, B minor, and then G, D. Okay so very similar to what we've already done. Let's play it.
into that riff that we did in the beginning of the song, but the second half, right? The one that's... Okay, so that's basically the chorus. It just kind of, it's really simple. Just goes right along with the drums. part and then you go into verse number two so let's break that down all right so let's break down that second verse now the chords are the exact same the progression is exactly the same just the second half is a little bit different so we got the same chord same everything the first part even starts the same and then now this is where it gets a little bit different so we got And then I slide from seven to nine on the A into that riff. And then we got, and then, so it's the same here. One, two, three, four, bam, one, two. And then I go B string, third fret, second fret, G string, four, two. So we got one, two, three, four, bam, one, two, bam. Now the next part, is gonna go G, B, D. So we got. Okay, so it goes third fret E, second fret A, open D, and then we're gonna do that slide like we did in the first verse. That whole step D slide. And then we're gonna go back to B minor. A. And then we're gonna do that progression again. G. Right? B minor, A, boom, 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 and then back into the chorus, which is the exact same. And then, after that, what we're gonna do is the solo. <laughs> Awesome solo, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in on the D and the B. Now I use my finger here, kind of a hybrid, to do the string skip. You don't have to do that. If you're not comfortable doing that, then just pick it. But we're gonna slide into the 17th on the D, and then we're gonna catch with I use my pinky on the B20. So we got then we go back to D, then we go to 19. Then we go back to D, 17. So we got 17, 20, 17, 19, 17, 17 on the B. Now we go. So I bend up a whole step, but with my pinky, that's on the B string. With my pinky, I catch the E string. And then I release down to the 15 B. So we got. Okay, so we got. Now I immediately go, and that's going to be 16 to 14 on the G. So I go 16, 14, and then I go 15 B, 14 G, and then 17. Whole step and then come back down. So we got. 
right, so up into this point. And then we go. Now that is just 14, 15, 14 on the B, and then we go 14 G, 14 D. Let me go 12, 11, 12, 11. Okay. Now we slide in and we're going to go to a D shape on the G and the B, but we're going to slide in on that 16th fret D. There it is. So we're going to slide up and then we're going to hit it. So we got. And then, okay, so. Now, after that, we're going to go. So I slide into D16 and then hit 15B. So up into this point, we got. So we go, and then slide into there, and then from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 14 bend up and release on the G, and then 17, same thing, bend up a whole step and release. Then we come to like the full crescendo where like when you hit the note, the fireworks explode and everyone goes crazy, and the girls are like. He's such a soulful guitar player. He's amazing. I love him. <laughs> it's like full 38 special right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide in to the 19th fret on the D again, skipping down to the B. So that's going to be 19. And then we go 17 B, 19 B. 20, and then you're actually going to hit 17 and 20 together. So you're going to go and let it down, and then you're going to go down one fret to the 19th and end on a tender note. Just half steps, though. Just go up and down. So if we did the whole thing slowly. So if we did it up to speed. All right, there you have it. Yes, again, if you want to start soloing, one, four, five is the place to be. That link down below, that is your happy place. That'll kind of start breaking it down and take it from scales to music, all right? Or, or scales to melody, <laughs> which is what we all want. And speaking of melody, if you want to learn more songs, it's the best when you got a bunch of people to do it with. So tell your friends that you're learning awesome i can't even talk it's too late you are learning awesome songs and you're super stoked and you're so excited that you've just got to tell the world and that would be awesome you guys are amazing if you want a little bit more of a challenge over there papa stash 102 there's rock there's metal 
There's psychedelic stuff, so lots of more soloing, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to just stop talking because I'm, I'm just not saying things right anymore. So thank you. You guys are awesome. Catch you next time.